Hello, and welcome to News Channel 1862. I am Jane Doe. And I'm John Smith. We have breaking news that the Battle of Antietam had just begun in Sharpsburg, Maryland. Today is September 17th, and the battle has just started at Miller's Cornfield. After Union Army Major General George B. McClellan launched attacks and pursued Confederate General Robert E. Lee into Maryland. For more on this battle, we go to Trina Tinkle at Miller's Cornfield. We're at Miller's Cornfield and the Union troops of Joseph Hooker are leading a powerful assault on the okay. Lee's left flank. As you can see, fighting is going on right now. to the sunken road, also known as Bloody Lane. A total of 10,000 Union soldiers engaged and 6,800 Confederate soldiers engaged, with a total of 16,800 soldiers engaging in all. The Confederates peered over the top and watched the Northern troops coming across an open field. As the Union soldiers came into view, the Southerners rose up and fired at the Union soldiers. Nearly every soldier in the front rank of the Union was killed. One general saw his troops disappear into the sunken road. After terrible losses, the Union troops were able to rally and encircle the Confederates, and the sunken road became a death trap for the men inside. We now go live to Trina at Bloody Lane. Thanks, John and Jane. Today at the sunken road, over 5,500 soldiers have been either killed or wounded, and neither side has gained a decisive advantage. The sunken road is now known as Bloody Lane to the soldiers, and will soon be known as Bloody Lane as a part of one of the bloodiest single days in American history. Hello, I am here with a Union soldier. Where are we right now? We are at a sunken road, which us soldiers like to call Bloody Lane. Why do you call it Bloody Lane? Because so many of my brothers have died here. And the rebels. Back to you. I am here with General McClellan. McClellan, what has just happened? This place was known as Sunken Road, but now is known as Bloody Lane. A lot of good men have been lost on both sides. How do you think the rest of the day will go? I hope that these men, my men, will pull through and win our first battle, especially on northern soil. Do you think this battle will extend to tomorrow? I pray to God that we that it doesn't, and that we can have a victory. Back to you. Welcome back. It is currently 1 p.m., and we have just learned that the battle has shifted to the third area near the waters of Antietam Creek. This area is more commonly known as Burnside Bridge, which is where A.P. Hill has just launched his counterattack. 13,800 Union soldiers engaged and 7,150 Confederate soldiers engaged, with a total of 20,950 soldiers engaging. Nearby, a stone bridge crosses the creek, and on the other side, the Confederates are dug in, and they have a perfect shot at the Union. For more about this, we go live to Trina. I have General Burnside with me, and he's going to tell me what he's planning to do for this upcoming battle. I'm planning just to charge right at him. There aren't that many, so it shouldn't be that hard. Do you have any kind of plan? No, there aren't that many. Really, they can't do much. Back to you!
I'm going to talk about Burnside Bridge, or before the battle, it was called War Rock or Lower Bridge. Ma Major General Ambrose E. Burnside's plan was to send a force down downstream so that while the the, un the rest of the Union Army was uh, attacking the front, they w uh, his army would attack the flank. But the Confederates, a few only a few hundred Confederates, stopped uh, Burnside at Burnside Bridge. Welcome back. We have just been told that the Confederates have retreated, and luckily one of our cameramen got footage of it. We now show you this exclusive video. Should we follow them? No, let's go back to base. Okay, let's go. I have Robert E. Lee with me. And how do you think this battle went? My men fought bravely, but we lost a lot of men. Do you think the North is going to pursue you as you retreat? No, I don't think they will. Why not? Because McClellan is too slow and scared to do that. How do you think this war is going to go? Do you think you're going to win? I think we will win. Why? Because my men are very brave and we have a cause to fight for. I'm here with General McClellan. McClellan, how has this day gone for you? It's been okay. I've lost a great number of men, but the, the South have retreated. Do you think you shall pursue them? No, because we drove them off of our soil. We don't have to pursue them into theirs. How do you think this war will go overall? I am confident that we can win as long as I follow by my and Abe Lincoln's rules. Back to you. I am General Burnside. How do you think this overall battle will Confederates actually held off for a while. I didn't expect them to do that well. Is this, do you think this is counted as a Union victory? Yes and no. <laughs> why, why is it not? Because we should have uh, had a victory sooner than we did. Are you going to pursue the rebels back into their territory? No. Why not? Back to you. Welcome back. I'm John Smith. And I'm Jane Doe. We have inside word that the Union President Abraham Lincoln will deliver the Emancipation Proclamation. And that on the first day of January in the year of our Lord, 1863, all persons held as slaves within any state or designated part of a state, the people whereof, then be in rebellion against the United States, shall be then thereforward and forever free. And executive government of the United States, including the military and naval authority thereof, will recognize and maintain the freedom of such persons, and will do no act or acts to repress such persons, or any of them, in any efforts they make for their actual freedom. And welcome back to News Channel 1862. I'm John Smith. And I'm Jane Doe. And I have here with me the total number of the soldiers that were killed, wounded, and missing or captured. The total number of soldiers that were killed is 3,650. The total number of wounded soldiers is 17,300. And the total number of the soldiers that are missing or captured is 1,770, leaving a total of 22,720 casualties in all of this battle. That's all for tonight. I'm John Smith. And I am Jane Doe. And I am John Smith. And the Battle of it. That's not how I'm supposed to do it. Hi, I have General Lee here with me. Um, what did I say last time? <laughs> <laughs> You're so bad at your job. Go! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
I don't know how to end it. How do I end it? Why are you filming me? Are you filming me? <laughs> okay, stop it. Uh, Burnside at Burnside Bridge. And he didn't do well. And it took a couple. Yeah. The battle has just now. Nah, mm. No, don't restart it. My dad can edit this. Welcome back. We have just learned. That's not how I should say it. Okay, no, don't restart it. We've yeah, done this yeah, before. Yeah. Welcome back. We have just been told that we have confederate. We have confederates retreating. There are confederates. They're rebels. Okay. Dude, it's 4:25 p.m. and I have 45% left on my iPad. I've got. Oh. 22. Let's go. Okay. Welcome back. We have just. Okay. Let me show you the footage. Right here. You're welcome. <laughs> you say something about going to the footage. This exclusive video. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Enough, the southerners rose up and took fire. And take fire to shot there. <laughs> okay, cut. <laughs> That's all for tonight. I'm John Smith. And I am Jane Doe. That's a wrap!